buzzing button. Welcome, sports entertainment fans, to the second annual, or the fourth annual Fringe and Royal Rumble. However, there's a twist. This 20-man Royal Rumble includes all no all new participants in dumb wrestling. Yes, we have 20 brand new combatants for we you. Signed 20 contracts. Uh, did we? <laughs> sure. Uh, that's what we told them. <clears throat> um, we have 20 new folks that will compete for a chance to go head to head to head for the dumb wrestling world championship. Right. The winner of this match will meet the the champion who is Dark Homer. And the winner of the next Royal Rumble who in is a triple all returning cast right. of a thirty man in a triple threat match for the dumb world title. Mm. I am very excited. I am extremely excited. And, and here we have our first entry. Our entrant number one. The lights are going blue. Who is it? It's Future it's Tex! Future Tex! Goo Tex! Goo Tex! Coming all the way from the future just to compete in this Royal Rumble. Does he have the future sight to know what will happen? Maybe that's why he's looking so confident. That might Maybe be the why. future is good for him. And maybe that's why he's coming in at number one. He might be that could confident. He, could he go all the way? Granted, you know, it's not as intimidating as our next Royal Rumble because there are only 20 participants. But still, going through 19 other men? That's, that's, a, that's a hell of a task. That is one. That is no small feat. But Gutex, future Tex, he's ready to go. He's got the charisma, he's got the heart, he's got the jacket. He's got the shades. Repping that cross counter. All right. And, and entrant entr number, number two. Two. The crowd is hyped. Who could it be? The crowd has no idea who's coming out, neither do we. Maybe it's the crowd. Is it somebody in the crowd? You in the rock shirt, come on down. <laughs> what the fuck's in the bag? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. It's Lunell. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lunell. Tell us about Lunell, Joe. Lunell is a... He's kind of a spur of the moment entrant because he's... A little confusing. He seems to be the culmination of Louis Anderson and Willie Nelson. Okay. He's, he's got a permanent up brow, as, <laughs> as shown in his headband. He's got a twin braided tails and a gray hair and headband. But here we... The crowd... He's also a failed comedian and country musician. Future Tex on the attack! And the Mrs. Counter... They shouldn't expose or expel all of their energy because they have, they have so much work ahead of them. Pace yourselves, guys. Pace yourselves. You have a long hill to climb. Oh, that was a vicious right hand. And already, here we have entrant number three on the way in three, three seconds. Two, one. one. And the buzzer <laughs> sounds uh, making his way to the ring. We'll see in a minute because the camera sucks. Entry it's number three. It's Bad, Bad Boy Senpai. Do you think he'll notice us? He's noticing that arm drag takedown from Moon now. Bad Boy Senpai. Bad Boy Senpai. A part of the There's elite the of Bad Boys. The only Bad Boys that can even bag properly. He's part of organizing the groceries at the toppest of the tier. Mm. My oh my gosh, what is, what are the intervals? He is a we very already rare we breed. already have entry number four coming down to the ring right now. That was quick. Making his way to the ring. We'll find out in a second, because again, this camera really it's sucks. Froggy. It's Froggy. It's Froggy! Best friend, BFF of Big the Cat. If Froggy's here, you can't... You He's must assume that Big the Cat is somewhere close behind. But this is the bad number to draw for Froggy. He comes in at number four. He's got a long hill to climb. He better hop to it. <laughs> Here we go. Entrant number five. Already. People just just chomping at the bit. Everybody, they, they want to just jump the gun and get in this ring and compete. Bad boy playing Future Texas. It's Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins back from the grave to bring. He's not dead. 
Yeah, he is. Whoops. <laughs> Bob Hoskins, world-renowned actor, best known for playing Mario in the Super Mario Brothers movie. The being best take, movie. Being taken down by Moonell, crotch in the face. <laughs> Bad Boy Senpai and Future Techs have a score to settle, apparently. Bob Hoskins. Oh, no! Bad Boy Senpai's out! out! No! no! We're, bro we're, we're broadcasters. We can't, like, you know, we can't show favoritism. But right. on our way to making his way to the ring, entry number six, it's, it's Eric James. The genuine Eric James. Genuine Eric James, chest hair and all. He's fixing his pants. He's getting in there, getting ready. Froggy got. Oh, the inverted atomic drop. Oh, Future Text. Future, future Text is, is in trouble. Side. Future Text is in, in trouble. trouble. One wrong he needs step. to get up. Eric James with the suplex. And Future Text is back in. Entrant number, number seven. seven. Frog, oh, Froggy's in trouble. Froggy's in trouble. Eric needs to get him out. Make his way to the ring. It's, it's Joe, Joe Pesci! Pesci! Joe Pesci! Most notable for his roles in Home Alone and, and Goodfellas. Goodfellas. I think. He's come to... Froggy. Oh, Eric James was going to eliminate Froggy. Froggy fought him off. Bob Hoskins is over the rope. Oh. Bob Hoskins is out by Moonell. Moonell with the elimination. Moonell has eliminated two people. Oh, no, wait. No, Futex eliminated. Futex eliminated Futex. Enter number eight. I think he's on his way to the ring. Enter number eight. It's Big the Cat. Big the Cat. Oh, he's a of the mountain. He's out. I was gonna say he came to rescue his friend, <laughs> but he just fucking bellied and bellied him. Froggy! Oh, Froggy's on the verge of elimination. Make the sick of you running away, Froggy. Oh man, sure never Moon run away again. Moonell, he's got Big the Cat. Oh man, Moonell. How strong is Moonell to just have Big the Cat on his shoulder like that for the power slide? He Joe, has to be as strong as two men. Joe Pesci's in trouble. Uh, Joe Pesci's in trouble. Big the Cat, number capitalize. Enter number nine on his way. It's, it's the, the chair. chair. World-renowned companion of Aaron's mom is fit to become his own personality and not be sit on all day. Future Tech's going after Froggy. Froggy fighting him off. Moonell, he's got the chair up. Oh, oh what a backbreaker. backbreaker. Speaking of backbreakers, huge backbreakers in the, uh, in the corner there by from Eric James to Big the Cat. As Big the Cat rolls under the bottom row. Oh, Future Tech is on the corner. Eric looking to eliminate him. Oh, it's not looking good for future Tex. He's Come been on, in, he's been, Tex. He's been in a few minutes. He could be getting tired. Oh, he completely cuts out. He's still in it. Joe Pesci with the with the acrobatics. Entrant number 10, I think, on his way to the ring in a few seconds. Yep, should be. Future Tex trying to hype up the crowd and gets oh, a drop kick. It's a drop kick for his efforts. Lunell is getting over the edge. It's, it's Jeff. Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Jeff going after Froggy. Froggy's been taking a beating this whole rumble. Can't think he has much left. Oh, and we have a what? We have a full ring here, Joe. Now the rule is only eight people can be in the ring at a time, so we won't get another entrant until somebody, somebody gets eliminated. Who? Who's it gonna be? Future Tech fighting Eric James in the corner. Jeff fighting Froggy. Who now going after Big the Cat and Joe Pesci fighting that goddamn chair? <laughs> It is chaos in it the rumble is, here. It is absolute chaos. And Big the Cat with a big counter to Lunell. Froggy on the ropes. Jeff has him up. Big back oh, super. Oh, I thought he, Froggy went over the rope there. I was there. thinking he was going over the edge. Joe Pesci countered there by uh, Lunell is in danger of getting eliminated again by Big the Cat. Come on, Lou. Sing us your songs. No. Lou, no. Eric James in the corner throwing up the two sweet. <laughs> Big the cat eliminates Lou now. Oh, he's going. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Fro Froggy has had There's enough. There's a friendship dispute right now. And then it, it ended as soon as it started. They were very confused. People. Froggy fighting Joe, Eric. Joe Pesci. Uh... Oh, oh no! Sweet chin music! The super kick from Future Text to Joe Joe Pesci was just trying to catch a second win there on the ropes. And he got knocked over the ropes. Over the ropes. 
I turned into a wolf there for a second. Nice. Oh, Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Decent showing, but not I enough. High and Jeff is out by Big the Cat! No, poor Jeff. Poor Jeff. And Future Tech's going after takes. Eric James. Is the genuine one about to go? Oh, they're oh, fighting. No. Eric is fighting it. The genuine one. Oh, oh he big, so. a big forearm to the side of the face. And a big the cat. But big the cat. The cat He's going for it again. Get the fuck out of my ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh! And Eric gets eliminated. Fro Froggy eliminated the chair. And big the cat eliminated Eric James. It is mayhem here. We are down to four, three competitors as we get on to entry number 12. Yes, I think so. Froggy, Future Tech's not looking so good. Yeah, more than a, it's Big, big smoke. smoke! Taking time from his smoking and eating and de betraying days his, at his, Grove Street. His, uh, his crack empire. He's carrying Grutex to, to the end. Oh, Future Tech! Future Tech is gone! And Big the Cat and Froggy are going at Big the Cat with a belly to belly suplex on it Big It seems smoke. he did not foresee Big uh, Big Smoke coming in. Oh, and Big the Cat today. with a headbutt. Oh no. Big looking to eliminate Big, big Smoke. Big the Cat is on a roll here, it's folks. Big on Big action. Oh, oh, oh okay. It's, it's Zangief! The Red the Cyclone has come going to the Rumble. Going after Froggy. I don't think Zangief had an idea to fight a little green frog rather than those big Siberian bears that he's used to wrestling in Russia. Yeah. Oh, and the big oh, headbutt! Head How butt. much stun did that do? That does 400, I think. Sure. I forgot how much stun. Froggy! Oh, oh wow! Throws him over the rope! Froggy is gone. And a big slam to Big Smoke! Zangief is on a tear right now. He's got He's so got, much energy. It's all oh man. It's it's big man on big man. Big the cat. And it's Wooper. Wooper has entered the ring. My my boy Wooper. Let's go. Uh, big Smoke trying to catch his breath on the edge there. He needs to I get wonder, up soon. I wonder if Big noticed that his buddy Froggy is out of the match. He probably doesn't care. Because <laughs> there's no friends. Froggy. Froggy. There are no friends, no allies here in the in the Rumble match. <laughs> Big attacking nothing, assuming somebody would be there. Here, oh, another entry on, on their way to the ring. Wooper going after Big Smoke, uh, Big the Cat. There's too many Bigs. <laughs> too many Bigs. And it's, it's Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> no one has seen or heard from Whoopi in. Well, several years. Several years, and now she's here. Academy Award winning actress, question mark? <laughs> now she's here. Co-host of, co of The View, I think. Maybe. Wooper eliminates Sankey! Oh my god, he what just a, got in there! What a shocker! The little unevolved Pokemon just threw out the Red Cyclone like he was nothing! Making his way to the ring, it's Vig the Barbarian! It's Vig the Barbarian! Oh, he's given the cutthroat. He is ready to go. But people are preoccupied, so he's not paying attention to him. Jeff totally didn't go and backstage Big, and oh, change ooh. into his barbarian costume and come back Oh, out. I thought Big the Cat had another elimination there. Another entry. I don't even remember what number we're at. I think 15? Sure. We go over with a big kick to Wooper. Big the Cat is a... Big fighting Big Smoke. Giving him those oh, rush down Viking jabs. The big uppercut. Oh, and, and it's, it's the rug. The rug. Ugh. The most menacing, demonic, unsettling. The rug is the culmination of everything bad. We will not elaborate on what. That well, rather we'll focus on the fact that he's he's going to he's trying to eliminate Big Smoke. Big Smoke fought him off. V going after Big the Cat. Wooper has Whoopi Goldberg in a massive suplex. He held him, that he held huge him. delay, uninterrupted. Wooper is feeling himself really hard and right Big now. Big the Cat with a DDT to V. And, and it's it, the Polish it's guy! It's the Polish guy! Hey! Eric totally didn't go backstage and change costumes and come Hype back Man out. Hype Man Supreme, the rated PG superstar, is being taken down by the rug. The that rug is too powerful. The rug is powerful, all-knowing, 
dangerous and everything else. Speaking of dangerous, I'm surprised that everyone's not hanging up on Big the Cat. Big the Cat is a major threat. Big has has been in the longest so he's far. He's been in the longest. He's eliminated like five people. And speaking of people, the ring, it's Mike Ross. Mike Ross, the People's Champ, Miguel Rossington. And he's got his his that shirt. He wants everybody to get in that ass. He damn well does. And yet again, we have a full ring. We have a full ring of competitors. Mike has been MIA for the past month Hooper, or so. He's got Big the Cat up and oh, up and oh, over. Big has been eliminated. Hooper making a state. We have blood. Somebody, Somebody has been bleeding. Who is I, bleeding? Whoopi Goldberg is out. Oh eliminated god, Whoopi Goldberg is out. Whoop, uh, eliminated by Big the Barbarian. Whooper making a huge statement. He eliminated Big the Cat and Zangief. Two of the largest men in this match. And he's such a tiny Pokemon. Mike Ross going after the rug. Can the people's champ eliminate this demon? And now Not if Wooper has anything Mike to do Ross. <clears throat> Mike! Oh. Mike! Mike saves it. Big smoke and trouble. And Wooper still pressing the assault. He's looking to get Mike out. Maybe he has some sort of vendetta against him. Oh, and the, Eric joins the fray! The, Vig the Barbarian just eliminated the rug! And Mike Ross... Mike Ross fights off two people to get back in. <laughs> He's not done yet. Big Smoke, not looking too good in the corner. He needs that money. He puts the flip. He puts out of the suplex. Oh! Huge reverse DDT from Booker to Mike Ross. Things have slowly slowed down. It's slightly slowed down from what they were before. The people will be getting tired. People are get showing fatigue. People haven't been doing that cardio, that physical prep for this match. And next entrant and at number 17 is Polish guy with the with the shuffle and the jab and the oh, big right hand to beat the barbarian. Right Making his way to the ring. It's the next entrant. I don't even know what number it is. It's Denville. It's Denville. <laughs> it's <laughs> he looks I, so generic. We almost didn't recognize, I didn't him. recognize him without his register. <laughs> <laughs> it's an entrance thing. Oh, and oh, Denville immediately close line. Immediately making smoke. a name for himself by eliminating Big Smoke. Man, you I think he'd want to team up with his own kind. Man, I hate black on black violence. <laughs> Big Smoke's traitorous oh. days are over. Oh. Oh, Big the Bar... Denver went for that right hand. I don't think Big appreciated that. We have, we have blood! blood. <clears throat> Again, somehow... It's Peebum! It's Peebum. I didn't even see the countdown! Everyone's favorite road sign. <laughs> oh, and a powerbomb from Wooper to... Wooper to Peebum. Ace is looking to eliminate Big. They fought him off. Polish guy and Mike Ross going at it in the, the far side there. The big wind-up punch. Oh. <clears throat> On the vicious back pads. Oh, he went with a big kick. Big DDT for Mike Ross. He rolling under the rope then. It's, he wasn't thrown over the top, but I think if he... Oh, Mike! <laughs> P-Bum eliminates Mike Ross. We're going after P-Bomb. Wooper trying to catch a second wind on, on your Wooper, left there. Vegan and, and uh, Pol <laughs> Polish guy looking very fatigued right now. Big knee big knee from P-Bomb to, to Denville. The As knee bomb. Mike Ross staggers his way backstage. Close line. And we're rolling under, uh, rolling under the bottom rope, as many others have, to try to catch a second win. That is the worst place you could possibly be. I don't know why they I do don't, that. I don't think anywhere in this ring is safe, Joe. Because You got that right. He is bumps. setting up an elimination. Ace fights him off. And the vicious powerbomb by V. That elevated power. Did you see the height on that? He could <laughs> almost see his house from there. You could turn your spine into an accordion. <laughs> Wooper and Peebum are fighting each other. And Denville, while well, Denville looks on, looking for an opportunity, good spin kick there. But Wooper with the ring awareness to counter that strike. And 
I haven't noticed a countdown, so this actually might be our final. This could, final five. This could be the final five. You're right. We lost count somewhere down the line, but it's okay. <laughs> what what was that? Was I was by, just, by Polish guy. By Polish guy. I was just about to make a remark about Wooper. Denville hyping up the crop. This isn't a, the best idea, Ace. You got like he is you dangerously got... close to the edge. He is confident. Oh. Just, and feed the barbarian! He has eliminated Polish guy. We are down to down three. Down to the final three. It's Ace, Vig, and Peebum. And, and they're the starting to see the lights. They understand they have to team up to win. Or maybe not. Oh. <clears throat> now that Peebum is down, Ace is taking the opportunity to go after Vig. Uninterrupted. He Pe could eliminate Peebum Vig right out. here. Now will Peebum very... help or will he interrupt? It's a very heavy man. Ace having a little bit of trouble. He fights him off. P-Bum with the taunt. This is this is not a good time for that. He fighting him off still. He's still got that Viking. Yes, already. we are down to the final three. This we are is down the to the stare down of the final three. That can be Ace going right after here. Vig. Vig taking him down. P-Bum readying that hand. Oh Throwing no! Vig to the ropes. Oh no! Vig is out! out! Vig is out! The final two. Peebum, Peebum. versus Denville, a.k.a. Ace. And the Hurricanrana. The Hurricanrana. Oh! Oh, and the Vicious oh, Counter. Oh, the uppercut. And Denville and with the Hurricanrana. They're just trading blows here. Oh no! Denville. Oh, oh he goes out the, the way. Elbow. Here we go. Here we go. The final two, with the black eyes of Ace staring Denver down. Denville doesn't have his glasses. Can he see? <laughs> staring down that road sign. This is right leg. Over the oh, over the this ropes. could be it. Yes, Denver has won. Our winner of the newcomer, the Royal, newcomer Rumble Royal Rumble is Ace. Denville guy. <laughs> Denville has won. He came out at had, number 20, didn't he? Something like that. I think so. <clears throat> Is he the 20 or 19? Mm -hmm. With that late number entry. Ensuring victory. But it was not... It wasn't a cakewalk. He had to fight. He had he, to fight really He had hard. to fight his hardest. You're not going to WrestleMania. I don't know why you're pointing <laughs> to that sign. <laughs> and we'll be back, folks. For, for the big one. The 30-man returning cast rumble. With all your favorites. And some of your not-so-favorites. Quote-unquote favorites. 